Hello and welcome from Altmunster, which is on Lake Traunsee in Austria. This is what I've termed the Austrian Lake District and as I turn around behind me, okay, it may seem rather dark because of the sun, it's around just before 10 in the morning. It's the 10th of May 2017, but you'll be able to see behind me the Alps, or just about make them out, I imagine. And I'm staying at a campsite here in my van and this is now the ninth week of my experiment with intermittent fasting and today actually represents a, an important milestone. Now I, I've counted my experiment as starting from when I broke through what I consider to be the 18 hour barrier. That is to say I've been so sort of intermittent fasting for 16 hours for, without knowing I was intermittent fasting I just ate when I fancied eating which usually tended to be about 12 to 1 o'clock in them um, in the afternoon not bothering with breakfast and then I decided when I really learnt the words intermittent fasting I decided to actually do some and see what the benefits were I decided to actually take it further now today I've broken through another barrier or rather yesterday was yesterday I did not eat at all and uh, that's the first time that I've uh, managed to do that because the thing not so managed I never tried before because all the time I was thinking that if I didn't sleep then it was better to eat than not to sleep. The thing is, last night I went to bed at around nine o'clock. I watched a film called Soul Survivor with William Shatner, which I found on YouTube, and uh, must have watched about 45 minutes of that, and then decided I was too tired, so I must have gone to bed. I must have gone to sleep about 10 o'clock, and I woke up at 6.45 today. So clearly, there is no problem with sleeping on an empty stomach and uh, it is empty. Now what I have been doing, of course I've been drinking, drinking apple cider vinegar with water and lemon. I had coffee in the morning and I put in um, some coconut oil and I put in a bit of butter. Uh, butter has an, in, on the insulin index, it's almost at zero. So I imagine that that is not cheating in any way. You can't put in cream or milk. Now, uh, how do I feel? I feel slightly hungry. I think I felt hungrier last night than I do now. But of course it's still morning, so I mean I expect the hunger to kick in in maybe two to three hours time anyway if it's w working on a normal uh, rhythm for, for the way that I operate. On the whole, I feel relatively fit. I um, don't feel super fit, nor do I feel having this clarity of mind that you're supposed to get when you fast. That hasn't happened to me. I don't feel as though I could sort of sit down and study uh, Japanese or something like that. Uh, I don't imagine that, that that would be possible. Other uh, biological reactions I think uh, I ought to mention as well. First thing uh, I've noticed is I had this slightly metallic, slight, if ever so slight, metallic taste in my mouth as I, um, after not eating for around, what, eight to nine hours, I'm now beginning to understand that that is uh, going into a ketonic um, form. I, I think. I, 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 I don't know. Another curious thing is uh, is this, is that uh, urine colour. Now I'd always assumed that when you urinate that um, it, it, after not eating it, urine was clear. Well that hasn't happened. It's sort of uh, this bit of colour in it which uh, I don't I don't quite follow. Uh, there could be a reason. I mean I haven't been taking B, B, B vitamins which uh, makes that uh, happen. So I, I'm a bit curious as to why that happens, but uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. Other than that, of course, there's, you're surrounded by temptations. I walk out for a walk in the street, walk past the bakery, and what happens? I see the bread, I see the food in the shops. Uh, you know, you've got temptation everywhere, but I managed to avoid it. Unfortunately, the way I'm doing it, as I said before, I don't know I weigh, I've not got a scale, and I don't have a tape measure either, so this is a really bad way of doing it. I do think, however, I've lost a tiny bit around the waist, but I don't know. I just feel that. Right, so I'm now going out for a 
beautiful day out. We've got this lovely day here today. Unfortunately, the weather's been absolutely atrocious. I'm staying in this campsite, which is right behind me, right here. And so I'm now going to a walk to Gamunden, which is a historic ceramic uh, uh, producing town. Uh, so there's a cable car at the top, there's a, a water castle which I'm going to see and because the weather has been utterly atrocious, this is really unusual for this time of year. I cannot recall having seen this but this has been the first sunny day. Well on Saturday I arrived here and it was sunny but since I'm now Wednesday it's pouring with rain. I'm sitting in the van, it doesn't really bother me that much but uh, in May you don't expect it. Now in 2000 and 11 we had a dreadful summer but there were one or two sunny days in it uh, I mean June was quite nice and July and August it sort of rained uh, I'm a bit fearful that that's going to happen again this year anyway we'll see so I hope that's been interesting or useful for you uh, should you also try this thing called intermittent fasting